Mark Twain said, history does not repeat, but it does rhyme. In other words, the concept of cyclicality repeats. The reasons for it, the details, and the timing uh, varies from cycle to cycle. First of all, the economy is cyclical. Sometimes we have prosperity and recovery, and sometimes we have recession and slowdowns. Number two, there's the business cycle. Companies are what we call levered. Say they have some debt and they have f fixed facilities that can't be adjusted. So companies' results fluctuate more than the economy itself. And then markets fluctuate much more. Why? Because they are created and operated by people. Now, as long as you're in a country which is on a growth curve, the net of that over long periods of time will be positive. So you can buy a good quality asset that produces cash flow at a reasonable price, ignore the cycles, and if you hold it long enough, expect to make money. Now, if your emotions make you the victim of cycles, then you'll end up buying here when you're feeling good, selling here when you're feeling bad, buying here again when you're feeling good, selling here when you feel you lost, you'll lose a lot of money that way. It'll be better to have bought and held. On the other hand, if you're astute and unemotional enough, you might be able to buy here, sell here, buy here, sell here, buy here, sell here. My personal investment philosophy says that risk control is really the key. One of our rules is we never know where we're going, but we ought to know where we are. And if we can assess where we are in the cycle, that has certain implications for what's next, although not ironclad. But cycles will always be part of investing. So even if you are successful in the long run, you're subject to vagaries in the short run. Emotion plus short run vagaries will turn it into a disaster. These are the eternal verities. The details will vary.